Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing very well today. So today's video, I wanted to do a get ready with me and I wanted to make it just kind of about um, a summer makeup look. So maybe if you're going out on a date for summer or if you're going out to a party, um, I'm really just kind of focusing in on summer bronze, bronzy kind of look. So let's just go ahead and get started. So I already went in with my skincare, of course. I already have like my moisturizer, my sunscreen, all of that on. Um, let's go ahead and go in with primer. I'm gonna go in with this one from Say. Um, this is specifically called the um, Glowy Super Gel in the shade Star Glow. So I'm going to use this as a primer. This is very, very beautiful as a primer. Um, it just kind of creates like a glowy base, but it's also pretty hydrating on the skin as well. So I wanted to give this one a go. Um, I've used it recently and I really liked it. So, all right, now I'm gonna go in with this um, primer spray from NYX. I really love this one. This is the NYX Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh Spray. Really love that primer water. It's great for um, just kind of priming your skin before going with a foundation. And the foundation that I'm going to use today is one that I really, really love. It was a discovery of mine this year. I wanna say it came out this year also, and it's from NARS. This is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation, and I do have the shade L3 Gobi. This is a beautiful foundation, you guys. This is currently in my shop, my stash. I love it so much. Um, it gives really great coverage, but it's also really fresh on the skin. I feel like it doesn't look matte. It doesn't look super dewy or glowy. It's just kind of like right in the middle. It's a very fresh kind of finish on the skin. So hopefully my sponge isn't too wet, but I'm using the Milani sponge. It comes in a two pack. So it comes with like this size sponge and also a little bit of a smaller sponge that you can use for underneath the eyes. This color might be a little bit white for me right now. I have gotten some sun this summer so far, but I am obviously going to apply some bronzer, so that should help. I'm gonna go in with just a little bit more because I did feel like my sponge might have soaked up just a little bit. I damped it shortly before the video, so um, I feel like it was a little bit too wet so I'm just going in with a very, a very light layer. All right, I am looking super pale. This is definitely a little light for me right now, but like I said, don't worry. I'm gonna go in with bronzer and all of that, but I'm gonna put a little bit of this NYX. This is Juice Gloss in the shade Pomegranate Clout just on my lips, just to kind of hydrate them and also bring some color to the lips. All right, for concealer, I'm trying to finish this one up. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Um, this has been in my shop, my stash for the past two rotations and I'm just trying to finish it. I've had this concealer since it initially launched, which was in 2020. So it's definitely a little bit on the older side, but I still really, really enjoy it. I don't know if I'll purchase it right away. Um, once I do finish it, I might, but um, I'm really close to being done with it because I can see like through it. Like I know that there's not a ton in there. So I really want to try to finish it if I can. All right, the skin is looking good, but I'm looking very fair, so let's fix that. So I used this the other day, and this was actually in my bad bin for a little bit, and oh my gosh, I used this the other day and it was so beautiful. This is from Iconic London. It is their Sheer Bronze in the shade Caramel Glow. So this is just like a liquid bronzer. It's really, really pretty. Um, I know that so many people um, are super into, here it is um, on the back of my hand. I know so many people are currently into um, the Charlotte Tilbury liquid bronzer and you know, I definitely am tempted by that product, but because I have this one and I barely use it, I need to use it more. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like I am rediscovering this product that's currently already in my collection and I need to use this one. I'm just using this older like BH Cosmetics brush. It's from like the Marble collection, um, but any kind of like denser, maybe stippling brush will work. Um, and I'm trying really hard 
not to apply too much pressure because I definitely don't want to lift up any of that foundation that I just put down. But I just feel like this gives such a beautiful glow to the skin, but a bronzy glow at that. And because it's a liquid, it's a little bit more forgiving, which is something that I enjoy because I felt like that was my issue with the Charlotte Tilbury one, that it wasn't super forgiving. I feel like it was super pigmented right off the bat. It was a little bit difficult to blend out. And I feel like so many people, say the opposite about that product i feel like they say that that product is really forgiving that it's very beginner friendly because it's very easy to blend out but i just disagree <laughs> i disagree because like i said i feel like it's super pigmented right off the bat you get a ton of product but this one i feel like i mean i had a lot on the back of my hand and i'm able to blend it out and work with it pretty quickly and i'm not feeling like intimidated i'm not feeling like it's too much pigment so i am like really really enjoying this product um i've only used it once in my shop my stash i've used it like once or twice maybe even three times before that and i feel like right now because it's summer i'm even loving it even more um but yeah i mean i just think it makes the skin look really really healthy and glowy and bronzed i'm going back in with my sponge just in case it took up any foundation i don't see that it did maybe like a tiny tiny bit and you can solve that by not saturating your brush too much um i might have just had too much on my brush but I think that looks really good. I think I'm gonna just do a little bit more, just a teeny tiny bit more, um, because I kinda wanna add some more to my forehead, maybe to my nose. Um, but yeah, I, I'm liking this. I got it in a kit. I didn't just purchase it, I got it in a set. So I'm glad that it came in that set and I'm glad that I gave it another go because here I am really, really enjoying it. My hair is like pure craziness right now. Um, but yeah, really, really happy with this. And I'm really happy that I rediscovered this one. And yeah, so happy with this one. All right, so I think that's all blend in, blended in. Um, I tried to make sure that it didn't pick up any of my foundation and I think it's looking okay. I'm liking it. And I like the way it looks in the camera too. Hopefully you guys agree. But I'm gonna go ahead and set underneath my eyes and I'm gonna be using my Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. I'm clearly almost finished with this one. Um, and the lid has already broken off, which is really annoying, but it's kind of bound to happen. Essence and Wet n Wild are, it's pretty notorious for their packaging to break off, but, um, yeah um i'm really excited because after i film this video i think i'm going to film a best of 2022 thus far video um i really really enjoy those types of videos because it's kind of like a roundup video before obviously the actual end of year wrap-up video um and i have fell in love with so many great products this year so i'm really excited to share those with you just a hint the nars foundation is going to be on that list it's going to be part of that video um, so i'm really excited to talk about it further with you guys during that video but yeah i mean there are some really great products that have come out this year but then also some really great products that i just discovered this year that i picked up this year um, that weren't necessarily released this year but i obviously picked them up now for my entire face to set i'm going to use my um covergirl translucent um loose setting powder this is the clean professional powder this is a good one this is an oldie but a goodie i picked it up i don't know like a few months ago because i was working on a video um and i wanted to test out more powders from the drugstore and believe it or not i used to use this powder all the time in high school like every single day and whenever i first repurchased it like you know a few months ago i wasn't like super in love with it but now that i've been using it more regularly i'm kind of like okay i understand why i used to love this powder so much okay so i look super fair on camera but i promise 
I am like in real life I don't look that fair I feel like everything matches pretty evenly I might go in with additional bronzer like maybe like a powdered bronzer but um, first off something that I've been doing and I think this is crucial for summer I definitely wanted to include it in this summer like get ready with me video I've been loving to use this NYX can't stop won't stop mattifying powder and just setting the areas of my face that get oily so I'll just use like the same brush that I use to set underneath my eyes and I'll set my chin my nose with this powder my like smile lines and then right in between my brows so pretty much just in my t-zone and I feel like that really helps with just prolonging your makeup um, and again avoiding any breakdown in those common breakdown areas I guess I'll apply a little bit more bronzer. I feel like I look okay in real life, but on camera I look super fair. So I'm gonna go in with my Flower Beauty Heat Wave Bronzer in the shade Sunrise. I love this bronzer so much. Um, it's not currently in my Shop My Stash, but it was in my most recent rotation. And I love this. Like this has definitely been a rediscovered favorite for me. I feel like I have a little bit of splotchiness here. That is okay. Let me show you what I do to kind of correct anything like that. So I go in with a powder foundation. This one that I love, like it is dear to my heart, is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Satin Matte Powder Foundation. I wear the shade P4. This is absolutely amazing. So I go in with the brush that I used for powder and I just kind of stamp it in the areas where I feel like maybe I lost some of that coverage. Um, it really wasn't everywhere. It was mainly right here and it could have been due to that liquid bronzer. And already I feel like it just looks so much better right here. I just, I'm in love with this. Like this is so good. And this is definitely, that powder is definitely gonna be something that I mentioned in that best of 2022 so far video because I purchased it this year and I am so glad that I did. I'm in love. Okay. I think that is like plenty of bronzer because like I said in person, I look super bronzed up. Ooh, I need to like blend a little bit more. Okay, I'm loving the complexion so far. Sorry if I keep shaking the table. My tripod is actually on like the desk that I film on because I just, I like it better. I felt like I was so far away before I moved it to my table. Okay, so I love the way the skin is looking. I love that NARS foundation. I love that like liquid bronzer. And then I did of course add that um, powder bronzer on top, but I just, I love that. I love this look so much so far already. Now for blush, I have your, I have everything you need for summer for blush. Grab one of the Bare Minerals bronzer, uh, bronzers. I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. My favorite one is Kiss of Rose. I know that this is the deepest one and you're probably thinking, Sabrina, isn't that gonna be way too pigmented? No, go in with a little bit of a lighter hand. Obviously this is made for deeper complexions, but it works just fine for my complexion. So here is what Kiss of Rose looks like. I've talked about this already in some of my videos. So this is probably a repeat for you um, for me talking about it, but it is just so pretty. And the bronzers have a little bit of sheen to them, the little bit of a glow to them. So I like to focus them right here, kind of closer to my hairline. And then with less product on my brush, I start working it to the apples of the cheek. And I'm telling you, this just looks so beautiful in the sun. It looks so sun-kissed. It looks like kind of like that sunburnt look. I'm usually not into that. I'm usually not into that look. However, this blush kind of gives that to me and I'm not upset about it. Like I'm not mad about it. I love it. I love it so, so much. Again, just kind of focusing it here towards the back of my hairline, like kind of underneath my eye a little bit. And then whatever's left in my brush, just kind of working it to the apples. I dip back in, do the same thing. I just really enjoy this blush placement. Of course you do you, you place your, you place your blush where you want to. That was so hard to say, but I'm really liking this blush placement. I think it is very flattering on my face shape. And uh, I am just so in love with this blush. It is so pretty. Okay, now let's go into some highlighter. 
So for highlighter, I feel like I have to give my hair some push at the roots because it was looking a little flat. For highlighter, this has been the love of my life recently. It is so, so pretty. I love this. This is from Winky Lux. It's a cream highlighter. This is specifically their strobing balm in the shade Bubbles. So this was a Jessica Braun made me buy it purchase as always. Um, let me go ahead and swatch it for you guys. Here is what it looks like. It is very, very pigmented. So with this one, a lot of you guys, or not a lot, but like I had some of you comment in my Shop My Stash video, like, hey, like, you know, is this one too similar to the Flower Beauty one? I personally don't think so. Here, I have the Flower Beauty one. Give me one second. Okay, I have the Flower Beauty one. So here is the Flower Beauty one. Here is the Winky Lux one. So just for reference, let me go ahead and open up the lid so I can show you because some of you may have this Flower Beauty one already. So here are they, here they are kind of next to each other. And then I can go ahead and swatch them. All right, so here is the Winky Lux one. Here is the Flower Beauty one. So Winky Lux, Flower Beauty. All right, so let me give you my thoughts on these. So. I prefer the Winky Lux one, like hands down. I love the one from Winky Lux so much. It's a lot more creamier than the one from Flower Beauty. I feel like even right now, just me swatching it, I really had to dip my fingers in to get, you know, like I really had to kind of like rub my fingers in to kind of warm up the product a little bit. I feel like this one from Flower Beauty, it's not dry, but it's a, it's a lot more dry than the Winky Lux one. So. Just in case you were wondering, I prefer the Winky Lux one more. And honestly, like all I do is I just use my ring finger and I just tap it right here on my cheekbones, basically right on top of that blush. And I just blend it in with my ring finger. That's all I do. And it is so, so stunning. Like this is so perfect for summer. I'm so glad that I picked it up because again, for the longest time, I was like, well, I have the Flower Beauty one, like I don't need this one, but this is just so much better in my opinion than the Flower Beauty one. And I feel like it just blends in a lot more smoothly. And it's, I don't know, it's just like, it's more blinding. If you don't like as blinding of a highlight, maybe get the Flower Beauty one, but I'm telling you this one, from Winky Lux is, it's so stunning. If you like a blinding highlight, I highly recommend it. All right, so here you can see it, it's very blinding. So my camera battery is dying, how convenient. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera, do some eyeshadow primer, maybe charge my battery, but I will be right back and we'll get into some eyeshadow. All right, so I went ahead and did my brows off camera. They might look a little crazy, but the brow combo that I've been loving um, has been the Kosas um, Brow Pop. I love this brow pencil so much. And then the Persona Swipe Up Brow Gel. Really, really loving this brow gel a lot. And I have the shade brown. I wanna say it's like a cool brown. Anyways, for eyeshadow, we are going to be using the Natasha Denona Bronze Palette. This is literally just summer perfection. Um, this is just such a perfect palette for summer, honestly, if you're looking for just some beautiful evening tones um, for the summertime. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Beach right here and just throw this into the crease. And I am going to just try to focus on the eyeshadow and probably fast forward some of this just for the sake of my battery. Um, I'm probably not going to talk through this portion too much. And actually, I'll probably just do one eye on camera. And then I forgot to tell you the eyeshadow primer that I'm using is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the shade Eden. It gives a little bit of coverage to the eyelids. Really, really love this one. All right, so this look is gonna be pretty simple because the shimmers in this palette are just stunning. I'm gonna go in with my NYX Glitter Primer and just apply a little bit of this to my eyelid. So all I have is just that one shade in the crease, right? And I'm gonna apply this glitter primer on my eyelid all over my lid. And then I'm gonna go in with my favorite, no, 
Yeah, well, let's go in with the shade True Bronze, this one right here. And let's apply this all over the lid, just with my finger here. These shimmer shades are super stunning. And I feel like they make it look like you took a long time on your makeup, on your eyeshadow, when in reality, this is all I did. I just placed that matte shadow in the crease and that's it. So here is what that looks like. So I'm gonna go in again with that blending brush, no additional product on it, and just kind of blend that into each other. And I love that. I mean, that is so pretty. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab just a little like angled brush here. And I'm going to dip into the shade Deep Dive. This shade right here, it's a really deep color. I actually got like a ton of product on here. And I'm just gonna kind of drag this and create like a mock liner. Just to kind of create some depth. And if you need to, to avoid fallout, you can stamp. So I created just like a little bitty flick, a little bitty wing, and this is a little bit easier than going in with actual eyeliner. So I really like the way that it looks. I feel like I created just like a little bit of depth to the lid without obviously putting on actual eyeliner. So I'm gonna do the other eye off camera, apply some mascara, and then I will be back. All right, so the look is complete for mascara. I did go in with this one from Essence. This is the Essence Volume Stylist Curl and Hold. And I just feel like this look is super, super beautiful. Perfect for just kind of like a summery, kind of bronzy date night. It was really easy for me to accomplish. And let me go ahead and zoom you out just a little bit. So for lips, I felt like this would pair perfectly. This is one of the Anastasia Beverly Hills satin lipsticks in the shade Peach Amber. I am literally obsessed with this color here. It is so, so beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to the lips. Okay, and isn't this the most beautiful lip color with this eye look? I think so. All right, now, you have to do this. This is a must. This is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. You need setting spray so that your makeup will last all day long. This is a really, really good one from Charlotte Tilbury. All right, and this is the completed look. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I went ahead and put my glasses on so that I can see you guys, but I really like this look, you guys. I think it is so, so pretty. I'm telling you, the NARS foundation is gonna be a life changer. It's really beautiful. Normally, I don't splurge on high-end foundations. You guys know how much I enjoy my drugstore ones, but that one is no joke. It's really, really good. I'm also loving this iconic London liquid bronzer. Um, if you have this in your collection, pull it out. It's gonna be a perfect time of year to use this with it being the summer season. I really, really am enjoying this one. And then also I, I did, and I'm thinking that video is gonna go up first, but I did do like a perfect or like best summer palette video. Um, and that one should be going up pretty soon. I didn't talk about the Natasha Denona bronze palette only because I think I had mentioned it in a previous pa uh, palette video. But if you have this palette, pull it out, use it for summer. It's gonna be absolutely perfect for this time of year um, because of the really nice, just kind of bronzy tones that are in this palette. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video comment below what are your favorite summer products would you create this makeup look is this something that you would wear during the summer I honestly see this being great for going out during the summer maybe if you're going out dancing sometimes my husband and I go and go out and do that um, or if you're looking for something to wear to like an evening party or something I really think that this look would go perfectly for that occasion but comment below what your favorite summer makeup products are if you if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up also I would love for you to subscribe and be a part of my YouTube channel family here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will go ahead and see you in my next video. Bye.
easy, sweet like cotton, cotton candy. 